Hi, my loves. Hasina here with another chat. Um, before we get started, if you are liking these chats, please share, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, all that good stuff. Our digital paperwork is done. <laughs> um, for today, I wanted to talk about something that um, has been sitting with me and that I wanted to share with you and get your thoughts on. What do you need? What do you need? What do you need? What do you need? Now, I think we think we know, but I think we think we know based on our current life situation, our, our place in community, our place in society, our place in this world our place in what we think matters and what we're told matters. Um, but what do you need when you take those things away? And do we really know? And how does that change? And can you be honest about it? I've been sitting with that because I think you know, we're all in this ponderosa, and um, it's been a very interesting year or so, um, to say the least. But I think it is not, but yet I think it's given us a chance to really reevaluate what some of our needs are, what we thought they were, what they really are now. Um, and what does that mean as life continues to change and we continue to reintegrate and s come together and learn how to exist post this situation? Um, something that stood out for me is... I recognize, I was talking to someone about this. I, you know, I always talk about the fact that I'm, I'm very introverted. Um, I am HSP and I, me learning those things about myself, I always know the introverted part, but me learning those things about myself um, has made it easier for me to navigate these past few years of my life as I've gotten older and just things have changed, family life, friends life, um, relationships have changed. So now at that layer of this new global situation and seeing, okay, what is really true about me? What's true about me? when work's not involved, when friends aren't involved, when family is involved, when husband isn't involved, when pets aren't involved, when TV media isn't involved. What do I need? And I learned that I need quiet. I knew I needed quiet, but I didn't know to what extent. And now that I know, it's interesting because I need a lot of quiet. I need mellow lights. I need nature. I need meditation. I need movement. I need creativity. I need makeup. I need singing. I need music. Um, I need, again, I need gentle movement. I need gentleness. Um, I need not to rush. And what does that mean? What does that look like? Can I be honest? It means I need a lot of hours before I get to something or go to something just to settle myself, prepare and move in a way that is pleasing to my body. I need to not multitask. 
I need to be able to say when a conversation is over. Not even because there's an argument or an issue, but because I've exhausted the, the, my ability to have that social interaction. I've exhausted, I'm exhausted energetically. I am overstimulated. Um, now, when we get honest about this, what does it mean? Because how do you, a lot of the things I noticed, even when I thought about it, a lot of the things I'm saying are not, they don't match with the society that we live in. They don't match with relationships and friendships. They don't match with work. They don't match with, with hanging out. They don't match with networking. They don't match with with business with a lot of business they don't match so what do you do what do you do and the thing is i i mean i don't know what you do i think the gift is that we as we re-enter and reintegrate into society altogether we're gonna have to look at that because um, you know, we all dealt with a lot and a lot that we're not even acknowledging the, the trauma of it all. And we're going to have to really, really recognize that the things we did before cannot exist the same way. It'll be detrimental to our well-being. And we, we don't even know what the repercussions are for existing and, and, and dealing with what we've dealt with already. Um, but I do think it's important that we start getting on as we start, we stop pretending that we can do what we say we can do. Um, I just had a conversation with some recognizing that what you can do does not mean you should do you know remembering what can actually means the ability to it doesn't mean we have the ability to do a lot but do but can we can we be well can we honor while we do it while we do the thing so I'm sitting here and I'm thinking about that. And it's scary because who wants to be honest about, you know, just be honest about how much you need when you live in a society that doesn't match those needs. But I think the first step is the honesty. So I hope you ask yourselves, what do you need separate of everything that you know and see what comes up? I would love for you to share with me because I'm, I'm sitting in this and learning this and it's, you know, it's a good time. It's spring blossoming new. It's a good time to start learning some stuff about the most important person in your life, you. So I'm trying to do that. I hope you do it too. And that's all I got for today. I wish you a fantastic week, and I will talk to you soon. One love.